Welcome all and thank you very much for coming to the Rally for Life. Tomorrow will be 45 years since the Supreme Court created a right to murder your own unborn child. And since then, 60 million babies have been murdered in their mother's wombs. In Proverbs chapter 6, we're told that God hates hands that shed innocent blood. And this warning was necessary because ancient Israel had adopted the practice of pagan child sacrifice. They would burn their babies alive in sacrifice to the demon Moloch. In Jeremiah chapter 19, we are told, told that this is so evil that it never even entered the mind of God that they would do this. We are worse. We murder a million babies every single year. Several hundred babies a year are murdered just down the street at Planned Parenthood every year. Those who sacrificed their children to Moloch were at least honest about what they were doing. We refer to abortion as reproductive choice and even as health care. We refer to a baby made in the image of God as the products of conception. Let me throw some numbers your way. In the state of Indiana, the total number of abortions from 2015 to 2016 dropped by 8%. And thank you to Mike Pence and our state legislators who have made that happen. But that's not the whole story. And the numbers here in Monroe County are very, very bleak. There were 718 abortions in Monroe County in 2014. There were 822 abortions in Monroe County in 2015, a 14% increase. There were 1,016 abortions in Monroe County in 2016, a 23% increase, while abortions statewide overall declined by 8%. The bloodlust of that wicked Planned Parenthood abortion clinic down the street is growing. We hear that Planned Parenthood results in fewer abortions. We know from the numbers we've heard now that this is a lie, and it's always been a lie. But it's worse than that. Local government takes your tax dollars to fund Planned Parenthood every year. The Bloomington City Council has done so every year since 1999, with a couple exceptions. The Monroe County Council, which meets up there, has done so every year since 2009. This is your local government and your local property taxes. Later this year, the City Council and the County Council will be looking at how to distribute social service monies. I would like all of you to send letters and emails to the County Council and the City Council to say, do not fund Planned Parenthood and do not fund the All Options Pregnancy Care Center, which has enough fund to, help, to pay for the abortion of little babies. Christian Citizens for Life defends all innocent human life from conception to natural death. And life is an under threat at the other end of the spectrum as well. Our state legislator, Matt Pierce, has filed legislation to allow doctors to murder their patients. Let's be clear about what this is. If you want to die and I hand you a gun and you kill yourself, I am a murderer. There is no difference between this and, and prescribing drugs to, to kill someone. We must not further corrupt the medical establishment with this wicked legislation. But do not be depressed. God has granted all authority on heaven and earth to his son the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray that God will deliver us from this curse and this bloodshed because he has the power to do it. And God provides an escape for those who have murdered their unborn child or an elderly relative. And God even provides redemption for those of us who commit murder while we're driving with our anger against other drivers. The shed blood of Jesus Christ is that redemption. Repent of your sins and believe and you will be saved.
That is the real message of this rally. Run to the cross and ask God to forgive you of your sins. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. Praise be to almighty God in his holy name. Praise God. Thank you, Scott. So in just a minute, 